My favorite thing to do is um, <clears throat> take a Flintstone vitamin and uh, put on some driving. Wait, dry drivers dining wait diver divers dining dives wait what is it called dining's dives and drivers wait what is it called? <laughs> hi youtube today we are checking out another uncle roger video let's go make sure you guys like subscribe to the video and comment what kind of uh cuisine you'd like me to show off on this channel make sure you um what else Eat my ass. <laughs> Don't put that in, fake voucher. Okay, enjoy the video! All right, so we're watching Confused by Guy Fieri Cheeseburger Fried Rice. Cheeseburger fried rice? That sounds like some casserole shit. There's this, um tiktok there's a guy that is italian he's an italian chef he reviews a lot of recipes on tiktok and sometimes most of the times they are shitty casserole dishes that white people me saying this as a white person throw together and they're an abysmal and an abomination of my mankind so i feel like that this might be in that classification as an abomination of mankind as cheeseburger fried rice wait you're white on uh, yeah who would have known uncle roger back with auntie list today for you Fuyo. today we're looking at guy fieri making cheeseburger fried rice Wow, who took a shit on this plate? This looks disgusting. This looks like schlop. East meat, west fusion. Sometimes it good, sometimes it bad. East yeah. meat, west, sometimes you get rush hour. But sometimes you get slow <laughs> <her> hour. <laughs> Let me tell you something. My favorite thing is to take a um a, a gummy. Um, let me rephrase this. My favorite thing to do. <laughs> My favorite thing to do is um <clears throat> take a Flintstone vitamin and uh, put on some driving wait dry drivers dining wait diver divers dining dives wait what is it called dining's dives and drivers wait what is it called? <laughs> anyway triple D I like to take a Flintstone vitamin and watch this show and uh, bro after a day of cleaning and chores and then i put this on and light a candle it is a vibe it is an actual vibe hey i'm guy fieri you know what i need yeah guy fieri i gotta suck your dick <laughs> i need you riding shotgun i'm on <laughs> what <laughs> it's diners drivers and dives but where the hell is Flavor Town? Not Jamie Oliver's house. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not gonna be able to get through this video. You're talking shit about me? Oh, that is horrifying. <laughs> You're talking shit about me? And listen, if you watch Triple D long enough, you know I love Chinese food. I mean, I'll eat it anywhere, anytime, any place. So when I he usually eats southwestern food on the shows. He eats American or southwestern food. He barely ever eats Asian food that I've seen. So that's a stretch. There's a joint that's doing some real deal Chinese food, but with some. Okay, that food looked good. That looked good. Through Nolan's attitude, you know I gotta check it out. What his look? He looked like Phil Rockstar. <laughs> Uncle Roger called this look no custody. I wonder what he would look like without that hair. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Bar mitzvah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Because he looks better with the frosted tip. <laughs> what? I think that few guy, the only guy in the world who looks better with frosted tip. I can't. <laughs> he looked like the failed Mario brother. He looks like the Mario dad. Chef Max just rocked out. It's an experience that sort of gets you out of your lane. Nice walk. walk. Hi, guys, coming in. Get that. Local flavors. Get that. Serve Chinese Umami. style. Crawfish Rangoon's in the window. And Easter Ooh. takes on Western classics. Cheeseburger fried rice up. Thanks, I hate it. Did that have Brussels sprouts in there? What the fuck did it have in it? What was the green shit? Pretty much. Oh, ah, look at this. It's this like the sad part of a cheeseburger, Ernards. That looks so wet. Too saucy, but not in the right way. Only Auntie Esther should be this wet. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Roger confused also. What the requirement to work at this restaurant? Three year experience and four neck tattoo, is it? 
No, oh my God. That's all chefs. All chefs like that? All chefs are like that. Are you not like that? No, no, no. Asian people cannot get tattooed. Your mom gonna beat you up. <laughs> That's the reason. That's pretty much. Mom. This is where things are gonna get weird, folks. This is when the New Orleans attitude steps in. We're gonna make the cheeseburger fried rice. But it's gonna taste like fried rice. It's gonna taste like a cheeseburger. If you search dictionary for the word vegan, this guy photo show up. <laughs> We're gonna start by making the awesome sauce. It's the sauce that goes on top of the cheeseburger. Awesome sauce. Yeah. Awesome, awesome sauce. sauce. I want to love how American named that thing. Awesome sauce. Brilliant beef. You have to stop calling your food Hainanese chicken rice. You'll be calling it amazing chicken rice. <clears throat> yeah? Because it is. You okay? No, too hot. <laughs> no air Do you want towel if you start sweating? I'm not, I don't want your towel. Why? I don't know where it's been. It's been everywhere. Exactly. <laughs> all, all sweat on here. We've got pickle chips made into a relish. Mm. Three egg yolks. Now I'm going to add minced what? garlic. Pickles and eggs? What? And garlic? Powder. You love that mushroom powder. Drizzle in a little bit of soy oil. So we just made pickle relish garlic aioli. Absolutely. All right. Ugh. Ah, that this looks, looks like a action. zit innard. Like, you know when you squash a real girthy zit? That's what it looks like when it comes out. It sounds really nice, like on a burger or something it else. It looks like somebody smashed a staph infection. The fact that I just heard it go onto the bowl. Ah, that's staph. <laughs> That's gonna go on the right. Make feel a bit grossed out, to be honest. Yeah, absolutely. All right. We're in the awesome zone. And I'm gonna fold in the ketchup. Ew, oh, no. Ah. <laughs> too much sweetness in your fire rice. That's this is almost much. like chili jam lawo. Oh, and I'm gonna fold in the ketchup. God. So a really fantastic scratch made Thousand Island. All right, now Thousand Island essentially mayonnaise and ketchup. American people love their mayonnaise. Mm. You know, they put mm. it on everything. Mm. Sushi, potato. But Japanese people also love mayo as well. Keto, coleslaw, and now fried rice. In right, general. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna make the cheeseburger fried rice. No, Uyo, he got wok, okay. Soy oil. How many BTUs? Probably about 120,000. Uyo, 120,000 BTU. That good, Uncle Roger approved that nice wok. Yeah, coupon nice is good. Nice gas nice fire. How many BTU your kitchen have? Zero. Zero! Induction. Remember? It's very, very good, very strong. How do you measure induction? I just measure it in how many pound coins it costs me to turn it on. <laughs> Expensive. When they sell you induction stove, how how you know how big it can go? It's just really, really strong. It's like <coughs> kilowatts. So is there conversion kilowatts. between BTU and kilowatt? I don't no know off the top of my head. <laughs> okay, okay. Need to do your research before doing this. Oh, yeah. You just raw talk this video. <laughs> just raw talking this reaction video. You know how much I like to raw talk. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, children. children. <laughs> oh my god. Go check out Auntie Lee's restaurant, Mei Mei. The food's so good. Thank you. Singaporean restaurant, but almost Aww. Malaysian level food. Fuyo. Speaking of good stuff, Fuyo. Uncle Roger got new. The red version oh my is god. so popular. Oh my god, I need that! I'm gonna saute some onions, bacon. Focus okay. mounts. Now I got ground beef. Mm. A little bacon uh, fat no. in there. No. The only ingredient Uncle Wait, Roger likes is the bacon fat. That like pork lard adds so much good flavor. Why would you put beef? all the other stuff? The onion so big. It looked a little bit too dark for my liking as well. Not not colored very nicely. We're gonna fry the rice. Doesn't get any better than this. White sugar. What? 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 White sugar. Sugar. Sugar in a fried rice. Sugar. Yeah. For your fried rice, you yeah. do this. You can do sugar, salt, MSG. It's like the no. three good ingredient for a fried rice. Yeah, you don't need. Sugar. You don't need sugar. Salty, it's nice. Because you put like the bacon and the beef, so maybe they're trying to balance that saltiness, maybe. But there's so much sugar in the ketchup sauce. Yeah. As well. I think this American people taste, they like sweeter things. Uh, a lot, yeah, a lot sweeter. Doesn't get any better than this. White sugar, a no. mushroom powder. Mushroom powder, sneaky way to say mm. MSG, fuyo. Yeah. <laughs> White people got so many ways to say MSG without saying MSG. Lettuce. Whoa, I didn't see that coming. Really? You didn't see lettuce coming? But you saw sugar, ketchup, aioli coming, really? Nacho cheese sauce? Oh. No, awesome no. Sauce. Yellow mustard? Wait, wait. How no, much this, sauce is do you need on that? this is too much. This is too much. To mask the flavor of the bland food underneath it. Yes. Oh! That like sauce with a side of fried rice. See, you can't even see the rice anymore. The rice disappeared like something. You can't even taste the rice. Mustard? You're just covering up Sesame the rice. Seeds. Pickle chips. How do you oh, eat the it? Pickles ruined You're it. Breaking the rules. What rules are there? Exactly. Oh. No. Did he oh. use that chocolate <laughs> from his hair? Oh. I really no. wish I would have on that. Oh, well, bye, bye. 
Hawaii Five O. You picked it up. Absolutely. Exactly what I said. <laughs> Bro, one minute I get a bite and it's all cheeseburger, and I'm like, okay, grab like the cheeseburger. Nasty. The left bag up. Like all fried rice. It looks like if you just like took a burrito, a really good burrito, and then just dumped it out on a tray and then put whatever left in your refrigerator and just threw it in there. It's like it's trash and you're like, eat up. He say one minute he bite it all cheeseburger. Oh right. But the next bite all fried rice. That not compliment. That's just two different dishes. <laughs> yeah? When you eat fried rice, all flavors should work together. Imagine if you eat Thai green curry, one bite tastes like curry, the other bite tastes like green. Nobody wants that. <laughs> I don't think he likes it. Oh god. He it's like the people that do like keto, no hate at all. But when they do like a um like an unwrapped or like deconstructed cabbage roll. It's like I, I get it. I get it, but just eat a cabbage roll. He don't he's not even smiling. He looks so confused. He does look confused. You picked the iconic aspects of both dishes and made them Really sing. Egg what? Roll. So like, make them yeah. sing? What they singing? Funeral song, is it? It tastes like exactly what it's supposed to taste like. What do you think it's supposed to There's not supposed to be a cheeseburger fried rice. That's not supposed to exist. Guys saying it like this dish exists in the wild. <laughs> Delicious. The dill pickle on the top just makes it authentic. Is it fried? Authentic to what? Authentic what? What? <laughs> How can it be authentic if it don't exist? Oh, yeah. Who's this dish for? Like, you want to have a cheeseburger? But your girlfriend wants to have fried rice. Like, oh, hmm, I'll put the two together. Kill two but with one stone. Oh, but they're killing me right now. <sighs> and you got an open bar, you got karaoke at night. This place must get Open bar is nice. <laughs> this dish, too creative for Uncle Roger. Mm. But Uncle Roger have to say, that chef got skill. The tossing, very nice. Very good tossing. Yeah, the tossing Italians was nice. Tossing practice. You have all the correct technique, all the correct equipment to make amazing Asian food. Mm -hmm. But he choose to make cheeseburger, fire rice, hi. Yeah, it's fucked yeah. up, bro. What a great video. What a great video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe to the video. Thank you so much for watching. And let us know what other videos you'd like us to react to in this channel. And we'll see you guys next time. Make sure you guys subscribe also to the VOD channel as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. And don't forget to crank your hog. Bye-bye.